Good morning, everybody. Good to see you this morning. Welcome to the Sunday morning service of the First Baptist Church. We're glad to have you in the congregation this morning. And if you're watching by Facebook, we're certainly glad to have you a part of the service. What was that about? <laughs> what did I say? I don't know where I am. Where am I? <laughs> I knew someone, right? I, I, it wasn't unusual to have people laughing at me. <laughs> but I didn't know why that time. Welcome to 38th Avenue Baptist Church. Somebody asked me. <laughs> we, we were having a training meeting here oh, several years ago. And somebody called the church office. And they had gotten the announcement that there was going to be a Sunday school training meeting at 38th Avenue Baptist Church put on by the state of Mississippi. Somebody called the church office. I don't know who was here. But they said, where is 38th Avenue Baptist Church located? That's supposed to be a little humor there. Mm -hmm. very, very little. Thank you for being in God's house this morning at 38th Avenue Baptist Church. And if you're looking for a church home, we invite you to let our church be your church. The Word of God says, one of my favorite scripture verses, actually I saw it on Instagram this morning. Someone put it on there. And the verse is, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all his wonderful acts, glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength, seek his face, remember the wonders he has done. Thank you, God, for your wonders. I hope that you'll notice all the announcements you see for you. Inside the announcements, you see a little, uh, what do you call this thing, a little... A little thing. Bookmark? <laughs> a what? Bookmark. There you go. Bookmark. Food pantry shopping list. There's a lot of items on here that you can get and take to the food pantry. If you uh, don't want to go shopping and get these items, you can just write out a check to the church, designate to the uh, uh, food closet, and that would be great. Thank Miss Rosa for doing this food closet ministry. And it is a ministry. It's a help that letting people know that we care for them physically as well as spiritually. Also, if you will, please note all the announcements you see for you. You see the children's church. You see uh, about Wednesday night prayer meeting, youth activities, pray and go is underway. October the 31st, Saturday, young adults are sponsoring an annual, an annual hayride and bonfire bonfire, bonfire, and cookout. So thank you for being here. And, and lastly, a business meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, November the 11th at 6.15. Thank you for being here this morning. Brother Kevin, I believe you have a word and have a prayer for us, if you will, please. Good morning to you. It's good to see you again this morning. Uh, before we pray, I want to introduce somebody. Come here, Patrick. Come on up here. He didn't know I'm doing this. He has no idea. Um... You don't have to put that on while we're standing here. It's okay. I want them to see your face, not your mask. All right. This is Patrick Knoblet. Uh, when I knew that Bo was going to be assuming an interim pastorate, I put a word out through the association, a prayer request, that God would give us another man to help us with the youth. And I guess it was the following day after that, you sent me a message um, and said that you wanted to talk to me about this. Patrick and I have had lunch. He came to us. Uh, he's originally from Greene County, and he came by way of Hardy Street. I'm not going to give you his whole story. And um, I checked with Dr. Scott, and Dr. Scott said, yeah, you want to talk to this guy. So I did, and he's a good man from what I can see. <clears throat> now, if he's not a good man and he's got us all fooled, he'll find out <laughs> what happens. But um, we're thankful that he's here, and we're grateful that he wants to help us minister and grow our youth group. And thank you very much, Patrick, for being with us um, at this time. And uh, for as long as necessary, you feel this commitment in your heart to be used by God. And that's important for all of us. We want to be in that place. So let me pray for us, and I want to pray for Patrick while I'm praying, and we're going to pray that the Lord will bless this day and this man and his ministry. All right? Let's pray. Father, we do thank you. This is a great day to be in your place and to serve you, and it's our, our privilege and blessing to come to your throne now 
in the precious name of Jesus Christ. And it's our privilege and blessing, Heavenly Father, to be able to worship you and praise you and lift up the name of Jesus Christ with all our heart. And Father, I pray that it be more than lip praise. I pray that today will be heart praise by each one of us. And I pray for Patrick now. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will uh, give him wisdom, insight, and favor with young people to be able to grow this group and grow them both spiritually and numerically, Heavenly Father, for the glory of God. And I pray, Father, that you will be pleased with the ministries that, that are coming forth in these strange days in which we live. We bless you now and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, brother. Let's give him a hand, guys. Well, good morning. Good morning to all of you. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's stand, please, as we sing when we all get to heaven. Serving every day, just one glimpse of Him and glory will the cause of life be. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be! When we all see Jesus, we'll sing.
you may be seated. That's, that's a true statement. When we get to heaven, we're going to sing and shout the victory. How many of us are looking forward to that day? Amen. I am. I don't know if, you, if you're not, then uh, I don't know what to say. But I am looking forward to that day when we all get to heaven. Yes, Lord. Join us as we sing. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Hey! 
me like the Lord. Ain't nobody do me like Jesus. going to come and bless us with a special and I pray that it will be a blessing to us all. The song I want to share this morning is a really old hymn. It was written back around the turn of the 20th century. It's been set to new music, but keeping the same feel of that time period. And it uses a word that we don't use this way anymore, the word fast. He will hold me fast. And we think of fast as speed. But think about the word fasten. But if you fasten something down, it's stuck to the other thing with hooks or buttons or Velcro or, or nails, whatever you use to fasten it with. So that's the sense of the word fast in the song that I want to share with you this morning. Christ will hold us fast even when we can't hold on, when our grip is weak, when we're going through times of doubt. He holds on to us, and I'm so glad that he does. Christ will hold me fast. 
Justice has been satisfied. He will hold me fast. Raised with him to endless life. He will hold me fast. Till our faith is turned to sight. When he comes at last. Sing this part with me. He will hold me fast. that we conclude today's uh, service. We're going to pray and give thanks for our offering. This is not time to leave. We're going to be singing one more song, one I told you a month ago we would learn and be singing in our church. It's called The Blessing. And after we pray, after we give thanks for those gifts that we're going to give this morning, we'll sing this song, and then when you're dismissed, you, these plates are in the back and they're up front and, and our members, we expect you to be faithful in your giving. If you are a guest and you want to give, thank you very much, but we only expect this of our membership and we put it in front of you uh, on this time. Let me pray for us and then we're going to sing this great song. Father, do bless in this time. Lord, do use these days and these moments to show that you're working through 38th Avenue Baptist. Thank you for the offerings that we're going to receive in a moment. And hear us as we continue to bless you and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless
generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you and is with you in the morning in the evening in your coming and your glory and your weeping and your rejoicing he is for you 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 amen Make it.